Chet TV's studios in British Columbia. This is Chet TV News with Robert Springett. Hello and welcome to Chet TV News. We begin with a violent robbery on the side of a road near Chetwind. On Monday afternoon, a woman delivery driver had vehicle trouble along Highway 97, five kilometers east of Chetwind. As she was doing a vehicle check, a male punched her in the face and threw her into the side of her vehicle. The assault then turned into a robbery as the man demanded cash. The male is described as white between six foot and six foot two, wearing a winter coat with red trim, blue jeans and dark colored gloves. The vehicle is described as a black or blue sedan with Saskatchewan license plates. Anyone with any information is asked to contact the Chetwind RCMP. An escaped convict is back in police custody. Harley John Lay escaped from the Peace River Correctional Facility back on Monday after an armed man confronted two correctional officers while escorting the 29-year-old to the Peace River Hospital on Monday. Lay was found near Fort Nelson. Police also arrested two other individuals at the scene. The RCMP have yet to provide any information surrounding charges. A Dawson Creek man is dead following a traffic accident on Highway 43 Saturday afternoon near Grand Prairie. Police say the 20-year-old died when a semi-truck traveling west on the highway turned south onto Range Road 54 when it hit an eastbound van. The 20-year-old was pronounced dead at the scene while the driver of the semi was not injured. Police say poor road conditions played a role in the accident. The Lion Inn has officially opened its doors in Chetwind. District officials gathered with members of the public to witness the ribbon cutting, enjoy some beverages, and of course cake. The building was transformed from a church to a hotel, taking over 14 months to complete the renovations. This building is a exist a uh, very, very long time. It was a uh, one time it's a school, and uh, uh, this is one of the uh, landmark building maybe in, the, in, in, in Chetwin. And I, I don't want to see this building just destroy and and we cannot find a good use for this building. And I found uh, uh, maybe there's a good idea to make a small boutique hotel. So far, there have already been 20 bookings for the rooms before the doors have even opened. Now taking a look at weather, we go outside to Marlon Gomez. Looking like it's starting to warm up out there. Good thing you were able to get some time on the slopes at Powder King this weekend. Yeah, the conditions were perfect while we were out there on Saturday. We had that fresh powder from Friday and Thursday when we got all that snow. And then it was fairly warm too. The temperatures were roughly hovering at around 0 and minus 5, which was nice when I was getting my ski lessons and maybe taking a tumble or two. The good news for us out here is that that temperature is going to continue for the next few days. As you can see, Rob, I'm not wearing any gloves or I'm not wearing a scarf. So listen, I'm not complaining when it's plus five and I'm doing my weather report. We're going to go ahead and take a short commercial break, but coming up ahead, I'll have your five day forecast. Stay with us. When the Japs bombed Pearl Harbor, they upset our thinking about a great many things, including Alaska. The great Japanese air and naval base at Paramushiro was only 750 miles from Attu. Attu was only 1,200 miles from the mainland of Alaska. And Japs in Alaska would be a direct threat to the west coast of America and also to the interior. With Canada's consent, the United States War Department decided to build a military highway from Rails End at Dawson Creek, British Columbia to Fairbanks, Alaska to link up and supply these airfields and to provide emergency access to Alaska for troops and materiel. Tourism Dawson Creek official film The Signal Corps and Chet TV presents a one hour special on the new tour of the Mile Zero Alaska Highway that is coming to Dawson Creek. Watch a presentation on the new tour, explore the routes and hear the experts highlight what to look forward to. Watch a short movie on the highway produced by Signal Corps and learn about some of the books that chronicle the construction of the Alcan Highway available at the Pine Tree Bookstore in Chetwind. Stay tuned to Chet TV Channel 40 on East Link, 655 on Bell and 55 on Air. You wanted it, you got it. Chet TV is happy to bring back Moccasin Flats to its regular programming and it gets better. My Peace Country Home Pioneers of the Pine River Valley is returning as well. This time with over 30 minutes of bonus features including interviews, archive footage and music. 
Jet TV on Bell 655, East Link Channel 40, and on air on Channel 55. Jet TV, your station. Welcome back. So as I mentioned before, there are going to be some pretty warm days up ahead in the Peace Region with even consecutive days of the temperature being above zero. So hopefully you'll get to enjoy that. Let's go ahead and take a look at your five-day forecast and we'll start here in Chetwind. Tonight it's going to be very windy with winds reaching speeds of about 50 kilometers per hour. But it won't be very cold with the temperature only going down to 4 degrees. Wednesday and Thursday are both going to be sunny with a high of 5 degrees. Friday it will start to get colder but the temperature will only go down to minus 7 and Saturday there will be a mix of sun and clouds with a high of minus 5 and a low of minus 13 degrees. Let's move on to your Peace Region's 5 day forecast starting with Dawson Creek. The weather there this week will be fairly close to Chet Wentz tonight. It will be very windy with a low of 4 degrees. Wednesday and Thursday will both be sunny with a high of plus 5. And then heading into the weekend, we're going to have some sunny days, but it will be slightly colder. Friday will have a high of plus 1 and Saturday's high will be minus 5 degrees. Over to Fort St. John now tonight, the temperature will drop down to 3 degrees. Wednesday and Thursday, people there can expect a high of 6 and 5 degrees. Then on Friday and Saturday, slightly colder temperatures, just like in Chetwin and Dawson, with a high of plus one on Friday and a high of minus five on Saturday. Let's take a look at Prince George now. Even though it's going to be warmer there as well, there is a chance of showers and even some light flurries later on in the week. Tonight it's going to be cloudy with a 60% chance of rain and a low of minus one. On Wednesday and Thursday, the temperature will be above zero during the day, but with a chance of showers on both days as well. Looking into the weekend, it's going to be pretty cloudy with a high of zero on Friday and a low of, or rather a high of minus one on Saturday. And finally, let's take a look at Grand Prairie tonight. The temperature will drop down to three degrees. Wednesday, there's going to be a mix of sun and cloud with a high of two degrees. Thursday, there's a 30% chance of rain with a high of plus five. And on the weekend, it's going to be sunny, but slightly colder with a high of minus one on Friday and a high of minus seven on Saturday. So over the next few days, the Peace Region is going to see some warm temperatures and lots of sun, so that's good. Although if you're headed to Prince George or perhaps Grand Prairie, just be mindful that some of that warm temperature will bring in some rain, so roads could get a little slippery. That's the Peace Region's five-day forecast. I'll send it back to you in the studio, Rob. Thanks, Marlon. Now looking at what's happening in your community, we turn things over to our newest member of the Chet TV team, Jeff Hill. Jeff, great to have you here. Now, how are you liking Chetwin? Thanks for asking. Chetwin and the entire Peace Region is growing on me real fast. I keep telling everybody that it was just a matter of time that a guy with the last name Hill would find his way out to the mountains eventually. And I couldn't be happier to join the Chet TV family. And another thing that I really like about the community, it's all the events that are happening in the Peace Region. Let me show you. Our first event is on January 26th. Join Chetwin's Public Library for some knitting, crocheting and needlework projects. Bring any project that you're working on and spread some love by sharing some of your advice. Doors open at 8 p.m. and admission is free. Next on the list is a Junior Canucks game. The boys are taking on the North Peace Navigators on January 29th. The puck drops at 8 p.m. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for kids and seniors. Moving on into February now, the Rec Center is hosting a fitness challenge on February the 1st. This is a great way to stay healthy and spend some time with friends. Admission is free and all participants must have a library card. Call the rec center to save your spot. And then on February 3rd, the Junior Canucks battle at home against the Fort St. John Huskies. Puck drop for that one is at 8 p.m. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for the kids and seniors. And our final event is Coffee House. Powder King Resort is hosting an evening full of live music by local artists. The event will be happening on February 6th at 7 p.m. and admission is free. That's all the events we have for you, so get out there and attend as many activities as you can. I'll send it back to you. Thanks, Jeff. We now turn things over to Matthew Nicholson for your Peace Region Sports Update. Thanks, Robert. Looking at weekend action in the NWJHL, Friday had three matchups, starting with the Navigators beating the Junior Canucks 11 to nothing. Dyson Lowen made 18 saves for the shutout. Next, the Blades lost to the Vipers 7-2. Josh Degagne led the Vipers in scoring with two goals and an assist. In the last game Friday, the Fort St. John Huskies beat the Grand Prairie JDA Kings 5-2.
Cody Disher popped in two goals and added an assist for the Huskies. Saturday, the Flyers beat the Navigators 3-1. Bradley Dirksen had two goals, leading the Flyers to victory and first place in the NWJHL standings. The Vipers beat the Junior Canucks 5-3. Kelvin Sanders of the Vipers grabbed first star honors with two goals and an assist. And in the last game, the Huskies beat the Blades 7-0. Logan Edwards made 23 saves for the shutout. Going into this week's action, here are how the standings shape up. The Flyers are in first with 52 points, Navigators second with 50, then the JDA Kings with 35, Huskies with 30, Vipers 29 points, Junior Canucks 10, and the Beaver Lodge Blades in last with 8. In NAMHL action, the Northeast BC Yukon Trackers lost Friday evening 4-1 to the GPAC Storm. The Trackers remain in third place in the Bear Slashing Division. And finally, in NPHL action, the Dawson Creek Canucks lost 8-3 to Spirit River. That leaves the Canucks in third place in the West Division. That's your Peace Region Sports Update. Back to you, Robert. Thanks, Matt. After the short break, we'll take a look at your weekly book review with Station General Manager Leo Sabalski. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the Lion Inn and Suites. It is our pleasure to show you our incredibly beautiful rooms designed for the worker, tourist, and families visiting the Chetwind area. Ken and Lily have hired the very best contractors and searched out the very best furniture and appliances for each room. The Lion has rooms for every need. Select the rooms of your choice and enjoy comfy beds and use their kitchens and appreciate immaculate new bathrooms. You'll be delighted to find washers and dryers for your use, fast Wi-Fi connections, and flat screen TVs for your viewing pleasure. You'll be delighted and always return to the Lion in Chetwin because the rooms are spacious, cuisine tickets to the Red Lion restaurant are given as bonuses, and service is always pleasant and professional. The Lion is located at 5132 46th Avenue Northwest. Call us at 250-788-9990. Call for a reservation today. Finally, the 2015 Chetwin International Chainsaw Carving Championship documentary is ready. The Chet TV production Nearly Lost dives headfirst into the background of the championship and how the competition almost didn't happen in 2015. For the first time, Chet TV brings you away from the carvings and goes behind the scenes with the carvers. And of course, find out who takes home top prize. Chet TV on Bell 655, Eastlink Channel 40, and on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. These outdoor enthusiasts know that their hike will be enjoyable. It helps that they are prepared for whatever adventure awaits them. That means planning ahead, before you even step outside. Plan a travel route. They are going to www.adventuresmart.ca for a sample trip plan. Make sure you carry the essentials, extra food and water, emergency blankets, first aid kit, sunscreen, fire starting kit, enough clothing for an extra day, and flashlights. After checking the weather forecast and letting friends and family know how long and where they are going, these two are ready for their hike. turbines in the Zona Beck area? Chet TV talks to the applicant Natural Forces on their wind farm proposal and residents around the Lone Prairie, Zona Beck and Dickey Bush areas about their concerns on the project. 
Chet TV provides an in-depth look on the proposal, answering all your questions. For scheduling, visit peacefm.ca or stay tuned on Bell 655 East Link Channel 40 or on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. Welcome back to Chet TV News. We'll now turn things over to Leo Sabalski for your book review from Pine Tree Books. Hi, you're listening to the book report from Pine Tree Books at the studios of uh, Chet TV and Peace FM. We have a great selection of stories today, and we have some special features. One of the special features that we're doing is edition flashcards, and these are First Nation flashcards. What makes them different from other flashcards is they have pictures around them. So it's kind of a neat thing. Come in, and you can get one of our flashcards. I've sold three in a week. So this is the last one. The next one is an interesting, interesting book. And I'll just read you a little bit at the back. Facing bullies, being caught cheating on tests, and making new friends are hard enough when you speak English. But being a newcomer makes it even harder. Memories of hard times begin to heal as new experiences bring new night movies. Excellent book. Night Movies, written by a teacher by the name of Allison U.T. as excellent. And she describes her going to a school. And when she calls it a newcomer, she goes from a First Nations community to the community of Saskatoon. Her chapters are nine chapters. Interesting reading. She describes a birthday party. The first time she has a school lunch, she talks about making bannock. Sky Stories, a train crash she was in, and of course, Aboriginal Day, and she talks about night movies. Excellent book, First Days, Night Movies. Read it, interesting. Now, we've had a few people come in that are newcomers to the piece. They're actually south of us. They come from Prince George and Fort St. James and that area. So. They've asked for some books, and uh, one of the books they asked for is Fort St. James and New Caledonia. Now, this is an interesting, interesting book where British Columbia began, and it's done by Marie Elliott, and this Fort St. James was one of the first original settlements in British Columbia. The Anglican Church in Fort St. John was one of the first churches in Western Canada. Excellent book. I really enjoyed it. There's lots and lots of reading, and there's many, many diagrams of uh, people who settled in um, Fort St. James. Interesting read. It even talks about the Chinese who came into Fort St. John. It talks about the Aboriginal groups. Interesting book. Well, when this book was ordered, a second book was ordered, and it was ordered by the same person because she had heard about homesteaders. What is the homesteader? Well, you have to read the book. A homesteader is a person who, of course, comes in and farms, but read the book. One of the things I like about this book are the diagrams. The pictures, the diagrams are terrific. And I think it's incredible. You can see the original house of Dutchy Rutledge Madison on the first part of it. Excellent book. I enjoy it. What great pictures. I would like to frame some of these pictures and put them on the wall. A terrific, terrific book. She's done a great job. I just can't get over it. Look at that, Dad's Cows. It's an example of her artwork. Wonderful, wonderful. And you've got a bargain with Wild Roses. We don't have a lot. Why don't you buy two? And I've thought of this, taking one book, reading it, reading it to my grandchildren, then taking the second one and clipping some of the pictures out and framing them because Wild Roses is incredible. And the people from Prince George have come in and spoken to us, have spoken very highly of this book. You can't lose. It's a winner. It's a winner. The other book that I really like, and uh, when my kids were little, I used to talk about this all the time, Wagon Road North, Saga of the Caribou Gold Rush. 
Now, this is a trailer. This is a real trailer. And how would you like to go in a fifth wheel like this? I guess it would be one, two, three, four, five. It's actually a sixth wheel because the first five horses are pulling it. What an incredibly good book. And again, pictures and turns around and outlines the life of the early pioneers. And it talks about the caribou. So if you're going down south, get this book. And if you're running out of money, just park along the Fraser River, take your gold pan out, pan a few ounces of gold, and you would become instantly rich. The chances of becoming rich from gold panning are incredible, probably better than Lotto 649. Wagon Road North, read about it. The Sixth Wheel Saga of the Caribou Gold Rush. I like this book, you will too. The last book that we're gonna be talking about is, of course, A.C. Anderson's Journeys in the West. You would think this fellow here, um, you know, he's always wearing a suit and tie. But anyway, it's an incredible book. Uh, he is a clerk from the Hudson's Bay Company, and he discovered many, many things in Western Canada. It's one of those books you curl up with in front of the fireplace and enjoy, and you can shiver knowing what this man went through and appreciate the blessings you have beside a fireplace because this fellow didn't always have a fireplace. He was out in the bleak wilderness in winter time when the snow was blowing and the temperature dropped below 45. Then in summertime, the black flies chased him around and temperatures were incredibly warm. The Pathfinders, A.C. Anderson's Journey in the West. Well done. So you have a choice of books, the Pathfinders, Fort St. James and New Caledonia, and then you can visit it and be very knowledgeable. Wild Roses, Memories of a Homesteader's dar uh, Daughter, excellent, great uh, artwork. And let's not forget Wagon Road North. If your children talk about buying a trailer and going adventuring across British Columbia, bring this book out and say you're going to buy that trailer. And five horses, of course. So it's Leo Sabalski signing off from Peace FM, Chet TV, and Pine Tree Books. That's all the time we have for today. From all of us at Chet TV News, I'm Robert Springett, and thanks for joining us. Chet TV is owned and operated by the Chetwin Communication Society. You can find us on Channel 655 on Bell, East Link Channel 40, or on Air Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. You wanted it, you got it. Chet TV is happy to bring back Moccasin Flats to its regular programming, and it gets better. My Peace Country Home Pioneers of the Pine River Valley is returning as well, this time with over 30 minutes of bonus features including interviews, archive footage, and music. Chet TV on Bell 655, East Link Channel 40, and on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station.
finally, the 2015 Chetwin International Chainsaw Carving Championship documentary is ready. The Chet TV production Nearly Lost dives headfirst into the background of the championship and how the competition almost didn't happen in 2015. For the first time, Chet TV brings you away from the carvings and goes behind the scenes with the carvers. And of course, find out who takes home top prize. Chet TV on Bell 655 Eastlink Channel 40 and on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. These outdoor enthusiasts know that their hike will be enjoyable. It helps that they are prepared for whatever adventure awaits them. That means planning ahead before you even step outside. Plan a travel route. They are going to www.adventuresmart.ca for a sample trip plan. Make sure you carry the essentials, extra food and water, emergency blankets, first aid kit, sunscreen, fire starting kit, enough clothing for an extra day, and flashlights. After checking the weather forecast and letting friends and family know how long and where they are going, these two are ready for their hike. My name is Linda Kearns. I am the manager of Natural Springs Golf Course. My mom and dad, Mario Nicole Plurd, purchased the Natural Springs Golf Course in 1999 and embraced it as a dream. Together with my husband, John and I, the Natural Springs Golf Course has become a passion and a lifestyle. As a family, our dream of green also included our two children, Vanessa and Jason, who were raised at the course. Both kids now work or have worked at the course and are off to college. It is now our time to pass our dream to another family. As you can see, the course has wonderful advantages, well-taken greens, groomed fairways, and a beautiful setting 15 minutes from Chetwin on the Sakanka River. Swans, geese, ducks, and many other wildlife visit this pristine, beautiful setting. Our parents purchased the course in 1999 from another family who built the course in 1992. The course boosts a nine-hole golf course, regular and loyal golfers with season passes, rental carts, a certified kitchen, and our golfing season runs from May 1st to September 30th. We invite you to visit us and consider purchasing the land, the buildings, and the equipment and all the assets of Natural Springs Golf Course. A total of 180 acres are for sale. The course occupies 83 acres. Potential for cross-country skiing, an RV park, storage spaces for equipment, a full-time restaurant, and much more can make Natural Springs a 12-month wonderland and a business for the right family. Our goal is to pass our dream to a family or corporation who will expand and add the beauty of Natural Springs. Call me at 250-788-3944 or 250-401-1147 or email at nsgolf at talus.net. The location where you can find Natural Springs Golf Course is 7847 Highway 29 South. Thank you. Wind turbines in the Zona Beck area? Chet TV talks to the applicant Natural Forces on their wind farm proposal and residents around the Lone Prairie, Zona Beck and Dickey Bush areas about their concerns on the project. Chet TV provides an in-depth look on the proposal answering all your questions. For scheduling visit peacefm.ca or stay tuned on Bell 655 Eastlink Channel 40 or on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. You wanted it, you got it. Chet TV is happy to bring back Moccasin Flats to its regular programming, and it gets better. My Peace Country Home Pioneers of the Pine River Valley is returning as well, this time with over 30 minutes of bonus features including interviews, archive footage, and music. Chet TV on Bell 655, East Link Channel 40, and on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station.